What is going on friends, we are back with more World Cup, we got Flaming Team versus Mr. Jambat aka the Men's Meat. So this is the second game he's playing for UK. And Flaming Team is playing for US, and I think it's the second game too, they're both 1-0 this World Cup. And Flaming Team brought some fat balance. Yeah. I'm not sure about the Clefable. Jambat could... also. Hmm? And Jambat also got some balance. This could be T-Wave Clefable. Yeah, this Jammed team looks interesting. Like, I wouldn't expect are, this type of combina this combination of Mons. Mm -hmm. Both are really interesting teams. Uh, uh, but Effie's is more standard. Does, does, um, and Jams is more uncommon. Does a seat exist for Halucha that fits with Misty Terrain? Like, I know there's a seat for the Electric Terrain and for the Psychic Terrain, but I don't know if it exists for Misty Terrain too. Yeah, it, it, I guess it probably does. Uh, maybe something like attack. Probably because electric seed boosts its uh, defense and uh, psychic terrain boosts its special defense. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, that's going to be quite interesting. Like usually, if if you didn't have the Heatron and the Landers, I would think it would be Rock's Clef. But having Lando and Heatron, I think that might have like T Wave of Calm Mind or something. I'm not really sure. What the Clefable said. Um, looking at potential win cons for both teams. Uh, Landris can be a threat um, if it's played well and if it's SD. Uh, for Flaming Victini and for uh, Mr. Jamvad, I guess. Yeah, Reuniclus is a win con. Yeah, I think uh, it's gonna be Scarfstrom, right? Um, Wait, Garchomp yeah, is, like Garchomp Garchomp is only Rocker, so Scarf Rocks is a bit wild. Um, yeah, I, I don't really like Scarf Rocker on a balance team. Yeah, I'm not sure. Especially where game tends to go lo longer. Um, I'm not sure if he even has a Scarf, and then maybe he's just not Scarf and he has Rocks on that. Uh, th this Clefable could be like knockoff Stealth Rocks with Moonblast. Yeah, but like the. He has. Lando and Tren, which makes me think that the Clef might not have rocks. Like, yeah, CM Clef hasn't been used much in Sun and Moon, but I could see this being CM. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, this is probably the worst game to use CM Clef because because uh, he has, he has a Mega Venus Sword and a Celestia. Yeah, I mean, this goes for the turn. Uh, yeah, he has yeah, knockoff. Yeah, definitely, he has some knockoff. Nice. So that's good for Flaming Victini as he gets off the gets rid of the leftovers, which means uh, Tabufini yeah. is going to be Run a lot down, more yeah. weaker than it has to be. <clears throat> also, um, the he probably did rocks or yeah, rocks are common, but probably rocks that's like way more common. So like showing knockoff now that makes me think that he has that set that you said with knockoff uh, Star Fox Moonblast soft boiled. So yeah. I'm thinking that the Heatron or the Landers is the Z-Move user, and As, um, that's a, that's a neat uh, that's a neat switch, I guess, for both players. I mean, I could As, see. Yeah, Jamba didn't want to risk. Uh, uh, Jamba didn't want his Fini to get damaged by the Moonblast, and uh, Flaming Victini did not want to take a Moonblast from, um, or sorry, Nature's Madness from the top of Fini. So yeah, Toxic Blast is obviously a nice switch because it's regenerator if it comes in on uh, Nature's Madness. And Infestation is a really nice. Oh, this is Infestation. The set is okay. really cool. Wait, why does he not have. What is this item? Is it Rocky Helmet? Yeah, I, I guess it's Rocky Helmet. Okay, since the Misty Terrain ended now, he's yeah, you can probably going to fish for the burn. Yeah, this is really annoying for Jamvet if he gets burned and like he's like the passive damage from infestation is really cool. Uh, maybe he doesn't have it. Does he not have Skull? Does his last move haze? Um, I don't think the infestation sun set runs haze, uh, but Effie could run anything. So yeah, yeah. Gigerun is is doing absolutely nothing. They're wondering if it's Max Bedev in the chat. Hmm. 
I guess he doesn't have skull, otherwise he would have clicked it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Maybe he has T-Spikes plus Toxic to catch stuff like Zapdos. But that's, uh, that's a really weird set. You think he's, um, Scarf Greninja? Or Ash? He so could be Ash. Really, so, so if this is not Haze or Toxapex, then um, the Halucho can be a huge threat to Flaming Victini's team. Yeah. The Clefable is probably... Mm. I don't think the Clefable is going to be it, unaware. So... Oh my god. You think it's god. unaware knockoff? No, no, I think it's not unaware, which means it... If it was unaware, it wouldn't yeah, yeah. care about Halucha, but unaware cares about Halucha mm -hmm. a bit more if it... Alright. But Clefable is, still... Magma Clefable is still a nice check for Halucha. Oh, yeah. This can still switch out, right? No, no, it's not a ghost type, it can switch. Uh, but, okay, so it just doesn't take the damage from... It just doesn't oh, take Magma the Star. damage that's oh, But it's still trapped. Yeah, it's trapped, I think. Alright. Should be. Otherwise, I don't understand how Magma Stone works. Like, yeah. Yeah, this is looking really good for FV. This should be dead. If he can connect here. And, uh, uh, of course, he misses. But it doesn't so matter if he hits the next one. Unless he gets a low roll. Oh, he just goes for the taunt. Yeah, he plays it safe. Okay. Because the Psyshock does, like, that little damage that he can, like, even if he Psyshock again, it doesn't really matter. Oh, he's, now he's freed from the Magma Storm. That's the only difference it makes. Mm -hmm. So now... Uh, you go guard speed is, uh, Yeah, he's definitely switching out. And, and I think he's definitely... Yeah, he's going going out with the mm -hmm. guard champ. Yeah, the thing is, he will get poisoned. Mm -hmm. he, he probably doesn't have Earthquake, but if he has Earthquake on Venusaur, he could go into Venusaur here to get rid of the T-Spike. But Magma Storm would do a lot anyway to that. So I don't think I think he, if he was Earthquake, he would have definitely gone... Uh, against the Toxapex, so I don't think yeah. uh, Mega Venusaur is Earthquake. I don't think he has another play other than Garchomp. Yeah, Garchomp looks like his only play at the moment. And yeah, if he goes for the Magma Stomp, can exit. And yeah, the Garchomp is almost down to 50%, so that's really good for FV. Yeah, I can see him going for Rocks or SD, depending on the set. Uh, I just know it. I just noticed that Effie doesn't have hazard removal. Um, so once Jamba gets off rocks on Effie's side of field, it's gonna stay for. Yeah, rocks are nice, but if he had spikes, it would be. I mean, spikes only hit half mm -hmm. the team, but rocks plus spikes might be bad for Effie. Rocks alone is not that bad for him because Celesteel has lefties probably. Um, Clefable has Magic Guard. Toxapex has Regenerator. Greninja is not going to be switching in that much. Yeah. But yeah, rocks are still nice. But um, like I think the way this is, this has to be scarf rocks. Like this doesn't make any sense. Other, because doesn't Volcarona just run through? Yeah, Clefable also gets up its rocks. Yeah, yeah. Like I think Volcarona would run through his team if he does, if he's not scarf jump. I mean, it sets up on what does it set up on? I mean, if the Halucha has some seed that activates on coming in, I guess he can also check Volcarona that way. Yeah. But that's, yeah, not the best. Like, it's not a hard switch or something, it's just a check. He's gonna go Toxapex, I assume. Like, that's. We have seen that Venusaur yeah. can't do anything to Pex. Yeah, but the thing is, if uh, Jamvel anticipates the. I think he's gonna double into what? Into Reuniclus? Yeah, he can double to Reuniclus and get off a recover. Yeah. I'm still not sure if they can just protein or battle bond. Cause like if And it's unfortunate that Effie missed the um Magma Storms on Yeah. If that, Reuniclus, we will that see would have been knocked out. We will see if that comes into play later. Oh, okay. So he doubles okay, okay. He doubles to the Haluchan though. What did he predict he there? Can you did you understand that play? Let me see what happened. Mm. He probably predicted the he probably predicted the trend there. Or he or he might be sub 
um, Halucha. And he thinks that. Uh, uh, he maybe sub Halucha on the Toxapex can't break this up. Yeah, that might be the case. Yeah, yeah. I think he predicted the pegs. Oh, come on. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. Like, he missed the Magma Stone too, but this has a secondary effect which makes you take a 50, which is really annoying. He's probably just gonna click Moonblast. Like, that's a safe play. Yeah, I mean, Blunder is getting all hyped up in the chat. Wait. Yeah, if he also missed his Magma Stone. But definitely the high jump kick miss sucks more. Because Halucha is an important win con for Jamvad. Uh, not not saying he can't win anymore because uh, if he gets over recover on the Reuniclo, he has a good shot at winning. Yeah, like I'm not sure about the Gren because his team is so fat as where he doesn't necessarily need a Scarfa, but he would also. Like, Scarfa never hurts. Like, even if it's not Protein, he still has the priority from Water Shuriken if he's Ash. Like, I just can't decide which one makes more sense. I wonder what Jamvat is gonna switch out on this. I or switch in on this infestation. Maybe the Uniclass? To get up a recover? Yeah. Because it doesn't take the secondary effect thanks to Magic Guard. But yeah, he makes a nice play in the Heatran. And. Magma Storm, uh, really taunt only Magma Storm. I think taunt is fine. Harden Tapu oh. Fini. Does he go for the. Okay, yeah, he, he goes, goes for, for Magma. Magma Storm. How many PPs does. He has uh, okay. three, three Magma Storms left. Yeah. He has Scald for a second. I saw. Is that Whirlpool? Because, like, that would be funny because he has the trapping moves in uh, Magma Storm and Infestation, and he has. If he would have to trap and move in uh, Whirlpool, that would have been really funny. Maybe our four was a roll and he didn't want to risk it? Oh, he was slower, he was slower. Okay, that's why he switched. He didn't want to let the strand get too low, that makes sense. Because his strand is at like... Um, since, he, like you said, he can't get rid of the rocks. So his strand is going to be at 43. Yeah, another squad would have brought him down really low. It's an understandable play there. Just gonna go back to Venusaur here. I don't think you wanna go Subtle Steeler and risk uh, getting knocked off. I uh, can also yeah, go for uh, Nature's or Madness. Do th or do you think he's gonna just a Nature's Madness? Yeah, he has another option. Because if Cafable gets weakened. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah the, high try. the high jump kick misses yeah, is so annoying try. because if the if it dies to Water Shuriken through the substitute because of that high jump kick miss, that's gonna be s like I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Uh, like, I don't really care who wins, I just want to see a good game. Yeah, I guess we've seen hacks from both sides, so it's fine. And, uh, like, at the current moment, we can't decide which is more crucial. Uh, although I think the HJK miss might have been crucial because uh, it might be some kind of interesting Halusha set. Yeah, I really I want to see that Halucha. Really nice double in the turn again from FV. But I want to see that Halucha is put in work, man. I assume he's gonna sack off the Tapu Fini here, yeah. Yeah, and does he go for the taunt? Okay, Trent, for Trent gets back. I mean, if he went for taunt, he got an extra round of lefty, so that would have helped him. No, no, no. I think uh, Tapu Fini is faster than the Tran. Oh, it is faster. Yeah, you're correct. You're correct. So if he makes the right play again. Yeah, so he yeah, basically. If he's been playing well this game. Yeah, for sure. And he got two rounds of lefties, which basically cancels out the Starfrog damage that he took. Mm. Halucha or Garchomp coming out here. I think Effie wins this. If Halucha comes out. Like, he went into Clefable instead of Pex, which makes me think that his Pex really can't touch him. Like, the last move is either Toxic or Haze. I, I don't know it yet. I don't think it's Haze, so like you think, he said. Uh, so, so, you think Jam is gonna do something like, um, go into the guard charm, double into something, or just. Yeah, go like, his only play was. Oh, it boosts Spedef. Okay, it's. Spedef, okay, okay, okay. Like his only play was Halucha or Garchomp. Yeah, he's just going Clef again. Mm hmm. Uh, what is he even double to here? Because if he doubles into like Celesteela, 
Oh, Venusaur, that doesn't really help him. Jammer is in like a bad position. Maybe he will SD up and try okay, to damage. Then, yeah, then, then this was crucial because um, I think it eats uh, two moon. Uh, okay, it eats at least one moon blast from the Clefable, but because of the miss, I don't think it eats moon blast anymore. Yeah, it eats a, a moon blast thanks to the Spadef boost. If it uh, didn't miss the HJK, I assume. Okay, so if he crits the acrobatics here, uh, I think Jambad wins. I think most Haluchas are jolly. And uh, if the Clevis max defense like this, I'm pretty sure there's no way that's killed. Unless, yeah, unless he crits. Oh wow, he said 20, 20 seconds. Yeah, he didn't stay in. Hey, Blunder said if no HJK is easy win. Uh, no, Google Toxabex still tanks and it uh, or depends on what's the last move on Toxabex. Yeah, I think the Toxabex can touch it. Uh, Google is game started for World Cup. Might cover that if this game is over, if that's still going on. Yeah, this game is higher priority in my opinion. Yeah, yeah, I'll obviously focus on this game as he gets rid of the trend. Magnus Storm does connect. Uh, off the chomp, not the trend. So his Halucha is like super low with rocks and the HJK miss. Tren is still nice for the Reuniclus and for the. Celestila. Yeah, it's basically nice for everything other than the Halucha. Lord Outrage started with value too. Oh, I gotta watch that as well, I guess. But we'll definitely wait until this gets over and we'll do a double record. No, I think you should do a double recording, but. Yeah, yeah, he brought rain. Sleep. I just looked at the team for a second and now I'm back yeah. at the Gemvet game. I'll check out the Google game too. Just look at. I'll just look at Team Breaver real quick. Oh, Google brought some nasty Kurum, Alamomola, Chansey, I don't know what this is, semi-stall, balance. And his opponent has a really cool looking team. Looks like Auras with a top of Lele. He just makes the cleft play on the SD. So this time Jam is probably attacking, right? Yeah. He does not get the crit, yeah. Halucha goes down. He's gonna go sell us the Venusaur here. Actually, he can go to everything, it doesn't really matter. Maybe... Maybe Reuniclus can win if he dodges Magma Storm a few times. Or like, one or two times. <clears throat> so he knocked so he off the lefties. The yeah, this is I think he's gonna go try and taunt this. Oh, he goes Grin. No, he goes into the Grin intro. Uh, so, uh, unless this has Focus Blast, <laughs> I think Effie's in a very good position. Either Dark Bolts or U-turn. Like, if he's Protein, he could be U-turn. But this makes me think he's Ash when uh, Specs, Dark Bolts. Yeah, this smoke to shit is kind of funny with Blunder. <laughs> oh my god! Why are they allowed to ghost every game? It's kind of funny. <laughs> Okay, TDK was like, ABR, have you seen such a masterful performance before? And ABR is like only in my games, TDK. Okay, that's hilarious. Mm. Yeah, unless this is Focus Blast, I think um, FE should be I good. Mean, and even if this is Focus Blast... Um, if it's Focus Blast, he takes the damage that he needs to be low enough and then he taunts him with Tren. Like, yeah. The only problem is that Tren could run out of Magma Storms. Other than that, the Tren solos him. Mm -hmm. I don't think or, he's... Um, hmm? Or he could just go out to the Landris because I think Dark Pulse does enough for EQ to kill. Especially since I think it's offensive. Oh yeah, if it's offensive for sure. Uh, probably Z move. And I don't think the Celestia would have Earthquake on Jamet's team. Yeah, Jamet making the correct play, I feel. Yeah. Jamma definitely makes the, made the right play there. Yeah, he's gonna leech. 
he he's still hoping for some kind of choke um, that he can bank on to win. I'm not really sure what kind of choke, but yeah, like Gemma he's, is... he's still not, he's he's not giving up. He's just playing. Oh, Google is playing with Sam. Okay, we we'll watch that after. I will watch the old bitch game if that's still going. Yeah, this is some semi stall game. It will go for long, and this is just uh, the other game is just really an offense and sun offense, I guess. So if he doesn't have Scald, I'm wondering what he's gonna go for, he just infestation. Oh god. Yeah, the last move suspense remains. I think it's toxic to be honest. Yeah, that's what I thought earlier to catch his Aptos, but not 100 percent sure. <clears throat> so I don't think um unless Jam was sub, I don't think the Halucho won. If if this is toxic toxic um, the Halucha that has this like seed that activates when the terrain is up, it usually doesn't have sub, right? Uh, no, I meant without the head JK kick, a head JK miss. Yes. Uh, if um. Yeah, the Halucha, the Halucha would have put in. Halucha put would have put in more work. I'm not sure if because he uh, hmm? because plus two acrobatics or. Does not do enough. Uh, it de definitely does not KO the Toxapex, uh, and he can sack something and just uh, go into the Celestia protect stall. So, yeah. Wait, who can protect stall? Flame Victini or Men's Meat? Uh, no, Flaming Victini can protect stall. Also, I don't so I, I, I'm just trying to say uh, if uh, the last move on Toxic uh, is on to is on Toxapex is toxic, then. Um, you mean you mean he could have protect he could have stalled out the misty terrain to toxic the halucha or what? No, the halucha is flying type. Oh, it's flying type, so you can get toxic it no matter what. Okay, okay, my bad. I mean, it doesn't really look like a flying type to me sometimes. Kind of looks like it's dense, like not that. Yeah, it's fighting end. and flying. Yeah, yeah, I know it's the, I know it's typing, but like just how it stands on a battlefield doesn't really look like that. <laughs> like it's not doesn't look like it's in the air. Like set of seed, it looks more like a flying type, even though it's more like a steel thing. Well, and like he's playing this really cool, because um, he has magic garden called Fable, so he's not affected by leech seed. So he's just switching between Clefable Fable and uh, Toxapex. I'm just wondering if Moonblast from Clefable would have done enough. Oh, oh like energy, energy ball, ball gets the Greninja on the switch. Now the chat is going wild. Energy ball. That's is that for is that for Greninja specifically? Or like, cause Gastrodon is not that common. I mean, Gastrodon is like somewhat used. He misses yeah, he a Magma misses Storm, and this might just be Gemmet coming back. Okay, it didn't come. Man. Yeah. I think he's kind of. Yeah, he loses to this now because he doesn't have. He only has one Magma Storm left. I guess he can still taunt it and Earth Power it, but he's really low, so three Psy Shocks are probably gonna kill. Like, I'm wondering if. Um, like probably. I think Effie should have gone for the taunt and Earth Power there instead of uh, risking the Magma, but I don't think it matters, but I'm mm -hmm. not sure. I don't know if I like it spoke the entire sentence earlier, but I, ju I was just wondering if Moonblast. Versus Halucha that has plus one in special defense, puts it in range from uh, Greninja Water Shuriken. Oh but yeah, yeah, right, right, right. I would, oh, have does to, it? I would have to calc that, but I don't want to miss any turns now. He does miss again. Welp. Okay, so, so this game got a lot more interesting. No, nah, I think Jim, does he win? Like, this Jim just... It, 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 com it comes down to the... Um, He's definitely gonna come down to the Landris set. Oh, you th if he's like either Smackdown or as the corner the crush, he can beat the Civil Stealer down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this game is really interesting all of a sudden. Yeah, he's always taunting here, and I'll call real quick for Fable versus Halucha. Uh, 
My moon blast is 64 to 76, so I'm pretty sure it would have brought it in water shuriken range anyway. My moon blast. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna miss any turns now. We will collect that later. He does taunt, and now he cannot not go for leech seed, obviously. I mean, he has 13 of power. The last move is probably Toxic or Rocks. Okay. I mean, Cell Stealer Waltz this now. That's the problem, because he has no <laughs> Nightmare Storms left. <sighs> yeah, he doesn't want to really build the last move. Hmm. I mean, it's no, I guess Rocks Landers makes some sense and then Toxic on Trin. Yeah, the, the good thing about Heatran staying in is that he gets extra leftovers even if he can't touch this. Mm -hmm. He's going for the, he's fishing for the burn on the Toxic I assume. Yeah. Doesn't really have another play when he's taunted. And he goes back into this. Yeah, but this is getting lefties back and magic got not Oh no, he's not left he got knocked off, never mind. Um but at least he doesn't get affected by rocks. Okay. Yeah, the knockoff on the Clefable early on this was super huge, otherwise this would be a, like super healthy now. Oh was the, the knockoff was on Landry, it's not on Clefable, right? I I forgot. No, that was the that was the Profus game with the knockoff Lando. I mixed up the games. <laughs> I think it was on Clef, yeah. Yeah, that is true. That you don't lose like you don't lose PP if you go for like command or recover if you got taunted. And Heatran does lose PP. Yeah, he does reveal the toxic finally. He's staying in with trying to get more life Ds. Yeah, Gem can win this, cause like mm. That's the one bad thing about Magma Storm, only 8 pp and it can miss, like it's... Is it like 75 accuracy? I still don't get what, what the Landris is, like, is it... Is it not offensive? That doesn't make sense. I mean, he, al he already has like, 3 fat Pokemon, so if the Landris is not offensive, that's really weird. Okay, so if the Landris is not offensive, it's understandable because... Because... I mean, he needs to check Zygarde better, I guess. I mean, he has max defense cleft. That's like a fine. That's an okay Zygarde check. I'm mean, now that it gets bopped by Iron Tail. But you can also predict around. If he goes for Iron Tail, then you have like so many switches for Iron Tail in the back that he might double. So you can soft predict predicting double potentially. If it, like if it's banned Zygarde. I don't know, he might not just go he might not go hard Landris, he doesn't want to risk it if it's his like way of winning. But all those lefties recovery on the Celestia though. Yeah, they're really nice. I think if I think if F he was offensive Lando, he'd gone into it way before. On a on a specific turn? Like on a try to get it in on a double switch or bring it hard in on something? Yeah, like on something on the reuniclus maybe yeah probably in something that could have done work yeah okay. gem doesn't lose so anything he's down to 22 tons yeah he's he's spending he's getting rid of ton pp definitely it's nice um I mean, overall, definitely, if I'm victory, he got hexed a little bit more. If he loses this, that's, um, that's not a nice way to go out. I'll go and see really quick what is happening in the other games. Oh, so Lord Outrage is losing versus Zod Y, and what's happening in the other game? Yeah, so if Lord Outrage loses, then Asia is out. 
Uh, Googly as well as a common type of Lily. He still has all his mons, but probably he's gonna lose sub one to the Lily. Oh, he gets the burn and the Toxapex. Okay, what's about to happen? Of course, he said finally in the chat, everyone rooting for Jamvet. Like, usually I would root for him, but I kind of like for him to like, I Like, I'm fine with both players winning. I'm rooting for Effie. Because I know him. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think Jam is winning this because Effie hasn't really the Lando set yet, and from the play, from the way he's been playing, it looks like it's. Oh, I mean, yeah, maybe he just like doesn't bring the Landers in because he doesn't want to get burned by Flamester or stuff like that. Watch him go for heavy slam when he goes to Clef here. No, probably just goes back to Tren. But that's, that doesn't really gain FE anything. Like he keeps trying to heal his Reuniclus. And he keeps wasting Taunt PP if this taunts again. Like, uh, yeah, if he goes for recover, he doesn't waste any PP. But the taunt gets wasted. So, like, Gem. I don't understand what what trying to do. Really sleepy as fuck. Can you understand what's going on here? Like, what both players are exactly trying to do? Yeah, like, Effie doesn't want to bring his Landorus hard in. Like, it's ri it's too risky. Like, if he gets Flamethrower burned by Celesteela, or if... If he, like, gets it in by... So does he go for... Uh, knock off here? Like, he doesn't want to bring it in on Reuniclus either, to, like, if he gets crit. Uh, I mean, it's kind of hard to explain, but, like... Flamitini is like trying every few turns to get his, like every few turns he's trying to bring his Clefable back in to get it healthy with lefties. I mean, Gem is just making his optimal plays. He's in the back, like he's always bringing the um, the Reunion trying to get that healthy, but then he gets taunted. But eventually, the the yeah, if the Hidden runs out of taunt, it's gonna be bad for Flamitini. Okay, so he does get the Reuniclus on the. Um, so if the Landers is offensive, if the Landers is offensive, this might be the time to go hard land or on the recover. Yeah, but I don't think it is offensive because he's not yet gone out. Oh, uh, Mero is also just started for black and white. I'll just click on that really quick. Oh, those teams look kind of interesting. Um, looks like a <laughs> looks like half a mirror match. I'll look at that game after, maybe. Hmm, I guess he's not offensive if he didn't go to it. Mm, yeah. yeah, if he probably loses now. Uh, I don't think this was a deserved loss for him. Yeah, he should, like, if he connected the Magma Storm, he won. Five World Cup games at once. Oh, one is Gen 2, 3 are Gen 7, and one is Gen 5, yeah. I'll definitely not do that again where I like, record 4 at once. I only do that if there's like other games, but... I think it's Jamvet, like I'm gonna focus on that obviously. I was, uh, I was playing Victini. Yeah, tomorrow there will be more, even more games, like... Sixty more games to play. An entire SPL week in SPL week in a little over a day. Holy shit! They're gonna spam like five, six games at the same time tomorrow. Cause I know that like there's gonna be like a few hours where there's no games, and then there's gonna be every game at once. Whew. That's not gonna be fun to record. I'll have to uh, in the outrage versus Valoi game. I think outrage is lost. Yeah. Yeah, like, I think Jem had said in his video that, like, Zadwa is really good versus Rain. Because you can change up the weather. I mean, okay, we see this is the move. <laughs> what? Why did Outrage just... Why did he say <laughs> Why that? Why did he just rage that? Oh, okay. 
this game will be interesting. I think you should record a replay or something. Something interesting happened in this game. Or maybe... Like, there's so many games. Like, I don't want to record every single game. I'm j I, will, like, I will have to skip, like, half of these games tomorrow because there's so many. He just has Heavy Slam, so he's basically trying to get rid of the recovers, but he has a lot of recovers left. So he's commenting up. The thing is, the Celesteela, if it runs out of Heavy Slam, it can't do anything to this because Leech Sheet doesn't work because of Magic Guard. And Flamesaur won't do any damage, obviously, if this commands up. And he still has 12 recovers versus 12 heavy slams. <coughs> so Gem probably wins this. So in a googly game, oh, it's 4 versus 3 now. I think Effie is just trying to waste or recover PP as much as he can. And then Gordon with the mm, Heat Run and Taunt. Mm. Dude, if he crits here, it's over. Oh. Okay, he can crit here. Okay, this is, an, this is a very interesting turn. Oh, okay. he didn't get it. I think Gem has to recover again here, yeah, it's too risky. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Um, crit probably doesn't kill at that range, yeah. Okay, he finally, finally goes the Landros in, yeah. And the Landros. You think he's switching out, scouting for Z move? No, Z move doesn't kill. It so. doesn't kill, but it will bring it super low. But he can still heal on, like, um,. Toxapex, so it's fine, I guess. Even if it would get brought down to like 15%. Uh, Gems either clicking Psyshock or going Celestia. Uh, he's probably clicking Psyshock. Yeah, this game is like so interesting. Uh, like, I don't know what the heavy set is on Landris. If he is offensive, don't you think he should have gone out to Landris um, a while ago? Uh, when he was like around 50%. See, Jamet scouted for Zemo, I think. Okay. Oh, oh and he goes for what? the U turn. So this works out for Effie because the reunion lost all its boosts for now. Yeah, and uh, he can go into the Heatran and just taunt. Yeah, the only problem is that taunt will eventually have no, not have PP left. Man, if he, if he just had in his last move slot, if it was. I know that's not No, a set. everyone's like, why? Uh, uh, oh, they're, they're asking why he switched out. Yeah, I think Z move. Uh, yeah, like, Z move doesn't kill, so he could have gone for the recover there. Yeah, but what if he SDs on a recover? I mean, I guess he wouldn't have SD'd in that position when I was a Puyuna class with four comments up. If, if he didn't have, like, Lava Plume over Toxic in the last slot, this game would be pretty uh, much in, like, Effie's favor, but. That's not a set, Magma Storm, Lava Bloom, Taunt, and Earth Power. But yeah, it's a downside of Magma Storm. Hmm. Like, Magic God is just so nice for Reuni. If it didn't have that, it would be a completely different game. I mean, it obviously would be dead with, like, taking infestation damage, taking rocks damage, taking poison damage. The Misty Terrain on Jamet's team, it's interesting because two of his mons are in the air and one mon doesn't care about status. So it's only to support like half his team. To like Venusaur switch it into Skulls, stuff like that, Skulls from Keld. I mean, Vini also switches into Skulls from Keld, so I'm not sure. But Venusaur also resists HP Electric from the rare specs Keldio, like that set is super rare. So the Flame Victim mm -hmm. just continues to waste recover, like try to waste yeah. recover from this. I think if this was Hex, Free Flame Victini would have won overall. But yeah, it's, yeah. Mag it's Magma Storm, what I can agree. you say? It's kind of like Focus Blast.
This has nine more recovers. Yeah, Oceania doesn't. I don't think they won a single game yet. In Oceania, uh, in in Salmon Oyo. <laughs> what am I talking? Yeah. But they're gonna win one. Hopefully not versus Aureus tomorrow though. I need Aureus to win. For Team Germany. Yeah, he's gonna recover here. And then he has seven left. He switches into Landris. He's gonna U-turn again. Back into Celestina probably. Yeah. Hey, some Toxapex packs would have been nice, but I don't think he has it. He's still fearing some random Z move? I don't know. No, he does not want to waste the recover PP. No, okay, that makes some sense. Oh, poor might kill. Oh, but he can just go sell okay. a stealer. Okay, this, this is this is this is still a very interesting game. I think it goes either way because I'm just considering if if he has five heavy slams left, and he also has the U-turns from Landris left, and Jamvad has seven recovers left, and he has Psy Shock and Ener Energy Ball, which uh, yeah, if he will runs... not be able to hurt the Celly Stealer that much. And he has the heat run as well. If so he runs out of side shock. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. interesting. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a very interesting oh and very God. close game. Forty-two minutes already. I'll look at the other games while they're thinking. Okay, so well, your one was outrage. Um, a Sam one was his googly. So yeah, Oceania lost another game. That's what they were talking about in the chat. And then the Asuya game versus Meru. Oh, he has a sub score with Toxic Protect. Interesting. JK, I don't like that set. Don't use that with me. Okay, they're still thinking I didn't miss anything. So he switches out into Cell Stealer, knowing that it doesn't get hurt by Earth Power. And Mammoth Storm is already gone, so it's fine. Ah, back into Cool Fable and Lead Seed. He didn't reveal his last move yet, but it's probably Heavy Slam, like the standard said. Okay, he gets the Reuniclus and the knockoff. Yeah, that's some nice chip, I guess. <laughs> 15. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't. Uh, if we go on the Landris here and click U turn. Yeah, he can also go for Moonblast special attack drops or crits. Man, if this was... Yeah, see? He gets the drop, that's really helpful. Yeah, if he might have a chance if he keeps getting drops and stuff. Or if he's uh, able to okay, beat the Okay, there's 22 calm mines left. Okay, this is gonna be a long game. <laughs> and it's 3.50 for me, but I'm gonna watch this game and go to bed. 3.50 AM. Yeah. Yeah, here it's... uh. 50 minutes after midnight here. Oh god. The sun is gonna be up before the, before the game is over. Like, the sun is gonna be up for you. JK, it's only... I think in like 15-20 minutes it might be over. Hmm. Maybe a bit less, even. Because the heat on the I think I would've moonblasted again, because you forced to recover and you have to chant... You have the chance to get another Moonblast drop, but yeah, I understand. He's, just trying, he's, just, he's trying to get it off. He's, a, he's trying to waste the Psy Shock PP as much as he can. Yeah, but I don't think he was Psy Shocking there because he was only the plus one. Ooh, now okay, he wastes he the has PP. 11 psy, he has 11 Psy Shocks left. Wow, Psy Shock only has 16. For some reason, I thought it has 24. Okay, that's really huge. Because if he has Energy Ball only left, like, the rocks, are, the rocks play a role too, because if there were no rocks up. If he only has energy ball left, he could just switch between Heatran and Cell Stealer, but the rocks up means that he will still take some damage even if he only has energy ball left. But if he um, wastes all the side shocks. Okay, it's a, it's a leech on leech. Yeah. Interesting. Oh, He's probably gonna go Pex here. Um, Gem might just go. Now, Reunicus is too risky here, right? No, I, I think if he's going out in the Heatran here. 
jam is going to go to the arena. He turned his fun yeah. and yeah, you don't want to make this. Oh, oh, he got him, but he still gets the gets the leech. So never okay. mind, never mind. He didn't get him. It's okay. So now Effie goes on in the landers. For a second, I thought he just bopped this. And please take your turn. But Lichi is really helpful, obviously. Okay, he's yeah, I think he's moon blasting again. He might he might just go Salazita this time. Mm, I don't know. I think he's going to stay in. If he stays in, he's gonna get the drop. You know, like moon blast is like the the scald for special attack drops. I think he can stay in one more time with Clef. Yeah. So. This Reuniculus has six recovers left. 20 combines. Hmm. Okay, well, I was just checking something if my when my next up upload goes up. But I might just upload this uh, Jamet game before I upload any others. No, I probably I probably upload the the Brofist game before. We will see. Effie's timer is still at two seventy. I think he has his game plan thought out. <laughs> oh wait! Oh, never mind. For a second, that's how Jamet lives in UK. He just plays for UK. I think Effie is hard. Yeah, either Moonblast or Heatran. Okay, he Moonblast. No drop. I mean, that, uh, he, that didn't do much. Okay. But he's yeah. um, saving Sasha PP. Yeah. So he's gonna soft uh, recover. Probably. To keep his reuni. Healthy. I mean, the game is interesting, but they're also playing slow and like. <laughs> yeah. It's a bit annoying. <laughs> Especially since it's 3:52 a.m. for me. Yeah. No crit, no special attack drop. So five recovers left. I mean, this game would have been way shorter if if he didn't miss his magma storms. But like he also missed HJK Jamvet, but I think the magma storms miss mattered more. Yeah, yeah, the magma storm missed. Like the game would have been over like twenty minutes ago or so without the misses. Two combines up. Mm, you might side shock breaking the taunt here. Yeah. So then he's gonna have ten side shocks left. Yeah, if he's able to waste all the side shock PPs. Dude, there's a GSC the, game the, that the has still open. There's a Gen 2 game, it has been going on for 76 minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> only one mon down. <laughs> Holy shit, 430 turns. Let me click wow. on that just for one second. I haven't clicked on it. He switched out the Reuniclus, predicting a taunt, I assume. Dude, my computer is lagging when I click on that game for a second. Because <laughs> it's so many turns. Just for a second, though. Yeah, so this is fine for Jam. Um, Okay, we need to also keep a close count account on the taunt PP, which is uh, Jamath has sixteen taunt PP left. Mm -hmm. I think he's just gonna click flamethrower, or hmm. I'm not really sure. He might just go back into Reuniclus because F is not clicking off power this turn. Oh, he clicks toxic. Okay. So they both get more lefties back. Yeah. Okay.
my phone is heated up my pc is heated up <laughs> fuck one out 20 turns it's so like I think ABR was tell you was like nine times as long as this game or ten times. Like not not turns wise, like time wise maybe nine times as long, and turns wise like I think it was like one thousand two hundred something, so about yeah, ten times. Ooh, oh, the god! He still didn't reveal his last move, but if it's heavy slim, he's not gonna click it on a heat turn. Because he wants to be like, um, doesn't want to really waste his PP. Uh, I mean, he was using no, up some PP. No, he he doesn't want to get knocked off. That is why he's not staying in the stealer on the cliff. Either. Yeah, yeah. I mean, now the cliff is too healthy to live a heavy slam. Uh, so he's obviously not gonna do that. Gets knocked off. Yeah. He's gonna go back to Venusaur. Venusaur will die if yes. he goes to the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That that chip might come in handy because that was like yeah, he. Went. If he's gonna click, yeah, if he clicks Moonblast here, and he clicks. I mean, the Clefable has so many movements and knockoff PP, so that's like really nice for FV. Yeah. Yeah, I think if he clicks knock uh, Moonblast here and goes out in the heat run. Dude, where's the special attack drop at? Like. Or he can crit, or he can just stay in and crit here. Yeah, like, to be honest. I think going over to Heatran is the optimal play on the recover. Yeah, I understand it in the sense that you don't want to give him too many Calm Mind boosts because then Sashuk is going to hurt. Oh, only 4 recovers left, it's going to be interesting soon. Okay. There's the drop, Bop. Okay. Oh, time for time to crit? No drop, but only it's three. Only, only three, okay. Only three recovers left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is interesting as this gets. And he goes around in the Celesteela. Okay. On the side shock. Oh wow, so he wasted one ten left. And he's gonna have his slim. Oh or my go god. Heat okay, this is so close. How much did heavy so slam close. do? Is it in two KO range? I think it did like thirty two. Don't remember. Maybe it was 30. We're, we both are probably not able to figure out who's winning this, but I think both Jam and Effie knows who wins this. At this oh, point. I think Flame Victini is in a better position here. Yeah, I, I, I think, I, I, I think Flame Victini is in a better position. Like for, position the, for here. like for a long time, I thought Jam had had it, but like a few turns yeah. ago, when I saw, when I realized that his Fable has so many PP, and then he can Moonblast special attack drop and stuff mm -hmm. like that. It's looking a bit better yeah. for Evie. So he clicks Heavy Slam here. Yeah, heavy Slam has 4 PP left. And Recover has 3 PP left. Okay, he goes for the Flamethrower. What? Didn't he get 2 it killed by Heavy Slam there, potentially? Maybe he was out of range barely? I'm not sure. And oh, with the 29th, I guess he was okay, barely out of range. Left. Okay. 2 recovers left. Oh. Another. Oh ugh. boy. Two heavy slams and two recovers left. <sighs> I mean, a, cr a crit might kill with a good roll. Like, I'm not against yeah. Gem or anything, but it's like he's spamming those moves and he's not getting the crit, which is weird because, like, eventually it has to yeah. happen, right? Yeah. If he hasn't got a crit, uh, which I think he deserves. Okay. So, one recover and one heavy slam left. I think. I think. Yeah, I think Flaming Victini has this. Alright. Alright. Yep. I think Flaming Victini has this game. Because U turn is going to do at least at least thirty to the Reuniclus. <sighs> yeah. Oh, Sasha didn't do much. Yeah, Sasha is not doing much. Okay, what a what a game.
Yeah, he's I gonna, guess if he wins this He's game. gonna recover here, I guess. No, uh, yeah, and uh, I don't know. Recover command. <sighs> yeah, I think Effie has got this. Holy shit, this was such a good game. I mean, despite the hacks, I this game is very close. Effie's team yeah, is really interesting. And yeah. Uh, if he crits here, it's over. Like, if he played the beginning, like, well... Or like, like not saying he played bad after, but the Hex was annoying then. Okay. Was this a potential... Oh my god. If he went for Psy Shock there... I think Jamba just won. Not sure. Yeah, I think... Do you think Jamba won? <sighs> Eight side shocks left. Yeah, it would have been very interesting. Um, probably. the the U turn off quick. U turn probably, but U turn and sack the. Would you sack the packs or would you? Uh, not the packs are still nice for after, like when we and it comes down to stalling out the opposing stealer. Maybe U turn into stealer. Mm, never mind. I'm not sure. Yeah, it depends on how much the U turn. Left. So it, it's basically like if uh, Jamal gets um, two kills or one kill, uh, it comes down to the U turn rules, I guess. Oh, uh, Doc, you there? Yeah, yeah, I think U turn to Earthquake should kill, right? Oh, yeah, U turn in the Earthquake uh, should kill. The Assuming this is Max. Yeah, I don't know. You stay on the screen, I'll calc. Defensive land though. I mean, I have to calc already. Okay, fine. If it's max defense, I don't know if it's max defense. The uh, Uton does 28 to 33 and Earthquake does 30 to 36. So he would, he would need like two high rolls to kill with... Or like one high roll and one mid roll. 33... Yeah, yeah, one high roll and one like... Oh, okay, he switched out. Punishment? Has he what went for the, the punishment? fuck is, what is that? that? Data punishment. 60 power plus for each of the target stat boost. Ingenious maneuvers. Data punish. Dude, 60 Man. power of pl plus 20 for each of the targets boost. So it was base power. Holy shit. It was base power like. Holy shit! 300, 300 or something? I don't know. A few hundred base mm -hmm. power. He should have earth powered ages ago. Was there a turn where he could have killed the Uniclass with earth power? I don't remember. Oh my god. Oh, he probably, god. he probably just meant spam earth power in general to get. Um, yeah, this game is drops over. Or just <laughs> this game is over where Jamba didn't want to. Okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. Wait. This could still get interesting. Uh, I did not know okay. Landris learns I mean, that move. No, no. <laughs> Effie wins for sure, but uh, it, it could get dragged out if um, Effie kills the Reuniclus because then um, Jamal goes around in the Venusaur and gets synthesis off. So the game might prolong. No, oh, that's fine. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. This was. This game was fucking awesome. To say the least. I think that is Scarf Landers from Effie. Oh, is it Scarf? I was thinking it was defensive. I was confused. No, I'm pretty sure it's Scarf. Yeah. Okay. I wanted, I wanted to see how much you tended earlier to see so, if it's Scarf. So I think... I think... Flaming Victini will be the Jam Slayer. Ending the streak. Yeah, Uten was only used two times, so not sure. Yeah, Jamba. I think you should. I think. I think Effie could have clicked knockoff because yeah. knockoff has been doing. Yeah. Okay. We get the high roll on knock. Not that it makes a difference. Yeah. So he's gonna synthesis no, up. 
I think this game is just gonna prolong for some more time. You know? that's, that's fine. Uh, I guess if he still. Yeah, wins. but Venus doesn't have lefties, and this takes it takes rocks if it comes in again. And he only has four synthesis. Um, what's the last move on Celestina? Why is it not yet being revealed? Not sure, but it's, like, you, you it think has it's to be heavy. Like toxic? No, I think heavy slim still. Like especially he has misty terrain, so toxic seems weird. Toxic would only be helpful with stuff like Zapdos, I guess. His team looks so annoyed by Zapdos, so yeah, I guess it might be that. But Reunix is kind of sets up on Zapdos. Unless he gets yeah, discharged yeah, Para. I think, he, I think he can just spam Infestation, that's fine. He, he will recover eventually, like this turn. Okay, so this is... Mm. Yeah, he just clicks Flamethrower here. Getting back to the lefties. EHP fires, yeah. You see the black and white game. Still 5 versus 5, man. They're also playing low. Yeah, Trent Waltz this doesn't have Leech Seed. Porsche is gonna best of seven all gents. <laughs> Who plays Gen 1? I mean, I don't know much about Gen 1, but I played it like three times and I didn't really like it. I've also watched some videos about it from AIM, but I know that AIM is not like he's good, but not. I don't think he's the best in Gen 1, obviously. Um, New Gens is good. Gen 1? Gen 1, yeah. Gen 1. Uh, like Porsche was playing because he said best of 7 me all gens. He asked and said. Yeah, I, I saw Oja on my mind. I'm dragon do that. Yeah, I think I think uh, Jam versus a Fizzle. Might you cut out? Is what? Uh, yeah, I think. I think Jam versus Effie is over. And yeah, yeah. Effie yeah. is the streak ender. Yeah, but I gotta the like wait ender. till the game is officially over. <laughs> 64 minutes. Calm down, dude. They're saying the HJ game is sucked, but he also missed Magma Storm. Like, what? Dude. Like, like, who's saying that? Where? Uh, in the chat. Um, in like... Chat. Smoke to his chat. Smoke to his chat. Yes. Like, uh, yeah, like... Yeah, I mean, I mean, if he connected the Magma Storm, then he pretty much won. And I hope Effie shows his last move, so that there is no doubts about who won this game. If he was toxic, he won this game. Like, if he's... Yeah, one, he can have toxic on this, and two, Moonblast. Moonblast plus Water Shuriken kills the Halucha, I think. And then. I mean, the Clef being gone would have been really annoying versus the Ryu Nicholas. So. If he missed. If he didn't miss the HJK. He said GG, did he forfeit? If he didn't miss the HJK and Jamet dodged those Magma Storms. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, if he. That is the screen. Let that me just explain real quick. Like. Okay. If uh, Jamet okay. didn't miss his HJK. Okay, so... And then um, dodged the Magma Storms, um, I think he won, yeah, but that would have been Hex in his favor. Uh, I'm not sure if he would have won, depends on the set. Yeah, if this has Toxic, it can, uh, Toxic or Lucha. Um, I don't know how much plus 2 Acrobatics would do the Toxapex, maybe 55, 60? Wait, Mob Bali yeah. versus Googly, is that for World Cup? Let me record that. You think you guys were watching a really long game? You got anything to say, or...? 
So yeah, Flame Victini and uh, Jamet's winning streak. He was 10 and 0 in World Cup. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll record like one or two more games, yeah. maybe. Or and Effie is a streak ender. Yeah, I think Effie is like 2 and 0 now this World Cup. And Jam is yeah. 1 and 1. So thank you guys for watching and peace out.